Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Canon MP830. Basically, if you're having any print quality issues, you know, a certain color isn't printing, or you're just having general overall uh, print quality issues, um, your prints are coming out kind of choppy or faded, this is a method you can go ahead and use to uh, solve that problem. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to go ahead and lift this up so that your print head can come right into the middle. Now, if you notice here, we are running low on ink. Now, sometimes it'll tell you in the system, uh, in the printer system, that you have a little bit of ink left. And it might say, you know, you don't need to change it, but it's just running kind of low. I'm here to tell you today that if you are running low ink like that, you could potentially damage your print head with any color. It's not worth running it like that. So we're going to go ahead and take these out. It's the first step. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to go ahead and buy some brand new ink. I would uh, make this project contingent upon you buying this ink. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Just go right down there and click on it so that you can buy this new ink. It's pretty affordable uh, and it should be shipped out pretty quickly. And once you do that, make sure that you don't run your ink dry any longer so as you can see here they're running pretty dry now the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is lift this latch and that is going to give you access to the print head which is nice and dirty all right so now once you've got it out of your printer uh, you're going to want to have a container just like this so that you can go ahead and start working on it now to do this project you're going to need a container like this like i just said and a cleaning kit the link is going to be in the description below for you to buy this cleaning kit to clean out your print head. It's going to come with some cleaning solution and some fitments as well so you can fit them over the nozzles. Uh, but this is basically what you're going to be doing. You're going to be going over each one and that is black. As you can see there a bunch of black ink just came out. Next is yellow. And if you're having a problem with a certain color, um, specifically that's yellow, you know, go ahead and focus on that color. But while you're here, you might as well clean out these other ones. So that was magenta. So that's normal. That's what you should be seeing. You should be cleaning out that dried up ink that is causing this blockage, which is causing you to not be able to print. Now, uh, you, I'm also going to leave a link in the description below for a print head. Um, and after this, I'll kind of get into what you can do if this doesn't work out for you. But for now, let's see if this is going to work for you. If this works for you, then this is the cheapest, best way you can go. So as you can see there, I kind of have cleaned out all the colors. Um, and that is really what I, what all you need to do. So you, you can go ahead and do this multiple times, you know, two, three, four times. Um, you use up all the cleaning solution that you get so that, you know, if you ever need some more, you can always buy some. It's pretty cheap. Uh, but make sure that it's really cleaned out. Uh, and then you're going to want to dry it off and put it back in the printer. Okay, so once you've got it dried up, you're going to then go ahead and put it right back in. And if you need to wait for your new uh, ink, go ahead and wait. Uh, because the, word, the, next, the last thing you want to do is run this print head that you just cleaned with the dried up ink. Um, so wait for that to come in the mail and then put it in and you can begin testing it out. All right, so if this, for whatever reason, does not work for you, you still have choppy prints, your print quality still isn't good, and you've cleaned it out multiple times, the print head, the next thing you can do is buy a used or new version of this printer. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and do that. Or you can upgrade or downgrade to a printer that uses similar ink. I'm going to leave all of that information down below. Um, also, if you want to just browse and kind of see kind of what was the best printer to buy um, besides Canon or um, you know if you wanted to have another option um, there's a lot of resources on my website uh, bestprinterstech.com so that's gonna be on the screen somewhere here and in the description below so like I said a lot of resources take advantage of that go in the description below and take what you need and hopefully the first um, method works where you are just using the syringe and cleaning the print head and having to just buy new ink I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. Thanks for watching and until next time.